Hey Head Squeezers, thanks so much for all the brilliant questions that you've been writing below our videos or tweeting us in or writing on our Facebook wall. I am going to try to answer some of them because Mr James May is taking a well-earned day off, although actually apparently he's off um, trying to catch the abominable snowman. Uh, bonkers. Uh, he's asked me to come and answer some of them, so all these mini Q&As are about the body. I'm going to be looking at why do we hiccup, why do our teeth chatter and why do some turds float? So the first one comes in through Facebook. It's from Julia Apps, who asks, why do humans hiccup? Great one. So first up, a bit of anatomy 101. Uh, you breathe in through your mouth and your nose. It goes down your windpipe, your trachea, which then splits into your bronchioles, and that keeps branching and branching into your lungs. Underneath your lungs, you have a muscle called the diaphragm, which helps you breathe. When you breathe, your diaphragm tightens and your lungs expand and you breathe in. And then when your diaphragm loosens, your lungs contract again and you breathe out. It's that easy. So what causes hiccups? Well, there's a nerve that runs from your brain right down into your abdomen called the vagus nerve. And if that is irritated, it causes your diaphragm to spasm and you take in a gulp of breath and that causes the little flap at the top of your windpipe to smack shut and that creates the hiccup noise. It's as simple as that. So, um, Julia, I've got a little, a little bonus fact for you. There was a scientific paper published in 1990 uh, looking at intractable hiccups, the type of hiccups that you just can't get rid of. And it said that you may actually be able to stop them using digital rectal massage. It's true, it is a science paper, peer reviewed, read it, it's on there. Um, right, the next one comes in uh, through a YouTube comment. It's from Mega Bison and it asks, why does my mouth chatter when I'm cold? Like on a day today, to be honest, in the UK. Now, your body is always trying to maintain a steady temperature. What it needs for all the cells to function properly is 37 degrees Celsius, which is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that is controlled by the hypothalamus in your brain. And if it measures that your core temperature is falling below that level, it will start doing stuff to try to get it back up again. And one of the first thing it does is it causes your body to start shivering. Now, when your muscles start firing because they're shivering, that actually creates heat and the shivering causes your mouth to shake and that is what causes your teeth to chatter. Simple as that. Now one final Q&A. This one is through Twitter from, jo from at Joshi underscore UK um, and he asks a really deep one this. Uh, why does my poop sometimes float and sometimes disappear and would it be different in Australia? Well Joshi UK this is all about buoyancy. Now, thought experiment for you. If you have an orange and an orange-shaped lump of concrete and you put them both in water, the orange will float, but the orange-shaped lump of concrete will sink. Now, both of them have the same volume. So when submerged, they'd both displace the same weight of water. But the thing is, is that the orange weighs less than the weight of the water it displaces. So it floats, whereas the orange shaped lump of concrete weighs more than the amount of water it displaces, so it sinks. So your poop will float if it weighs less than the amount of water that it displaces. So a floater is a floater because it quite often has a lot of trapped gas inside of it. You haven't been able to get all that gas out through digestion. So maybe that's what it is, Joshy. You've just got a lot of, uh, a lot of gas in your poop, mate. Uh, either that or you've been eating a whole load of styrofoam pellets from packing or something like that. Um, and would it be different in Australia? No, it would be exactly the same. On the poo theme, just so that just so that you know you feel we've covered the whole poo spectrum, uh, we did a recent head squeeze video. It's a mind warp about how poo can protect you in space. So check that out. Please do keep sending in your questions on Twitter, on Facebook, any comment at the bottom of any of our videos. And in the meantime, happy head squeezing. <laughs>